Let's break this down from what I just heard. And if I get any of it wrong, let me know. Okay. You've got a laptop, a Mac, I think you said in the story, that was brought into a repair Uh shop in Delaware, right? Yes. Which is where, of course, Joe Biden represented Delaware forever in the U.S. Senate. Laptop was never picked back up. So I don't know if they automatically get it by law. They get to keep it, get to sell it, get to do whatever. But uh, they look through the hard drive, and lo and behold, this computer repair shop says, we found a bunch of emails and a bunch of pictures of and from Hunter Biden. And the email clearly says from somebody in Ukraine, thank you for, for the meeting with your father. Great to meet him. Great to spend some time. Joe Biden the presidential nominee for the Democrat Party, has said directly over and over again, I have never met with these people. I don't know these people. Then, of course, there was a a picture of them all golfing together, but I guess he didn't know them, nor was he meeting them while playing golf with them and yucking it up. Then, when asked about his his son's dealings in Ukraine, I, I don't know anything about his business. I don't know anything, nothing. I know nothing about it. This is the same guy who, as vice president, was in charge of Ukraine, put in charge by Obama. Hunter Biden gets that job with Burisma. Nobody argues about it. Some say he made $83,000 a month. Some say he made $50,000 a month. It sounds like he made upwards of a million dollars a year in a business he knew nothing about, in a country he wasn't from, and a language he didn't speak. It looks like Joe Biden's fingerprints are all over this. That's what it looks like. But the initial response from the left was the same exact response we got from the left when it came to the DNC and those released emails from WikiLeaks. Emails were released. There were John Podesta. There were Donna Brazil. They were just down the line. There were a bunch of people talking about the Clinton campaign. We got all so much information about sharing of information with uh, those doing, you know, moderating at, at debates. We found out about what she was saying to people in Brazil about the banking system, about open borders. We found out a lot about Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, Donna Brazil and the DNC because of these leaks. Carrie, do you remember what they said about those leaks when they first came out about the emails? I do not. What they said was, we have no idea if these emails have been altered. We don't know if they're real. We don't know if they've been forged. So what did they say immediately today when Hunter Biden's alleged emails were released? they, They might have been forged. We have no idea if they're authentic. And of course, what I was saying when Podesta's emails were out there and Donna Brazil and everybody else was, was very simple to verify. Tell me, is this not an email you sent? Is there something added or subtracted? You probably still have them. You sent them from your devices. And with the cloud, you can look at your device and figure out exactly what is on there and what's not. But here's something that adds more credence to the story of the New York Times, uh, the New York Post. Did you look at the pictures? I have seen some of them. They clearly are Hunter Biden, yes? I would say yes. You're not an expert. I'm not an expert. Sam is. But do they appear to be Photoshopped to you? Um, No. Right. I don't think so. So I haven't heard anybody today, because one of the pictures shows him with an alleged crack pipe in his mouth. Mm-hmm. The one thing that I haven't seen anybody say today before Twitter and Facebook decided to squash the story, I didn't see anybody say, well, those pictures aren't real. Again, the pictures, and I don't know why you'd have a picture of yourself with a crack pipe in your mouth, but there you go. Um, Those pictures were found on what's alleged to be the hard drive on a computer allegedly dropped off to this computer repair shop in Delaware. So you've got emails that nobody has said what's wrong with the emails, just that, oh, they could have been forged. They look like forged emails. You've got pictures nobody has said have been photoshopped. I mean, what are we talking about here? And this is much more credible a story than the story, the fake news story of President Trump saying something about losers and suckers, about dead Americans. This is much more credible than him saying, I don't feel like going today, when the weather really stopped them from going. That story was fake and not backed up by anybody. In fact, it was refuted by everybody who was asked. Yet it got millions of tweets and retweets, and Twitter allowed it to trend for days. It's still being used against the president, like in the last debate, where Biden pulled it out of his pocket. When somebody, when when Trump brings up three and a half million dollars going to Biden's son Hunter, from the wife of the now dead mayor of Moscow, Chris Wallace shut it down. Joe Biden said, "Why don't you shut up, man?" 
So here's a story. You get actual pictures of the actual guy, emails to and from his email address that has been verified to be his email address, and nobody is saying what's wrong with the emails other than nothing to see here. Let's move on. So the question is, you know, should Hunter Biden be brought in immediately to Ron Johnson's panel? He's been oversight. He's been looking at this and releasing reports on this same exact stuff for a long time. Should he be brought in right now under subpoena? And should he be questioned about this? Because if Joe Biden was meeting with the Ukrainians, that means that he probably knew about what's happening with Russia, and he certainly knew what was happening with China because he brought, he brought Hunter with him to China. And the American people deserve to know before they go and in good conscience vote for a guy that could be this corrupt. 888-941-PAGS, 888-941-7247, JoePags.com. Stay right here.